Another handy tool uh, to have within Outlook is to um, be able to organize your mail and keep them in folders um, where you can get to them and uh, keep your inbox a little bit cleaned up. Obviously right now my inbox is a little bit cluttered with uh, some emails that I need to clean up myself, but um, a good way to to do things and, and keep things in, in uh, some separate folders to save them and uh, have them for the long term is to go ahead and uh, make folders to drop them into. So right now I've got my mail folders over here. I'm on my mail tab and on my uh, navigation bar on the left hand side here I've got all my different mail folders. Here's my mailbox um, with on the exchange server it's showing uh, my name and I've got a folder here called archive which has just a ton of folders that I kind of drop all my um, uh, other emails into so um, that's kind of where I put things in that archive folder so I'm going to show you how to go ahead and create some folders to keep your mail uh, mailbox cleaned up your inbox cleaned up and uh, save your messages in a convenient place to, to find them um, kind of depends on the way you want to organize things right now I kind of have things set up by different categories and then within those categories I have subfolders so um, the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and create a folder um, similar to this archive folder you can go ahead and place it underneath one of these other folders some people like to um, to make a new folder underneath their inbox um, some people like to uh, put it underneath their junk email or whatever they want to do. Um, I typically like to have like an archive folder to store all of my different items in and that's underneath my my mailbox. So uh, first thing I want to do is select the level I want to create my new folder at. So there's my mailbox and uh, it has my name by it. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on that and go to new folder. And that brings up a create new folder dialog box and I can go ahead and type in uh, saved messages. Um, I have an archive already made, so I'm not going to type that in, but um, you can type in whatever you want, um, all mail, whatever you want to have for your heading to kind of contain all those messages. And the default is mail and post items, which is fine. And then if you haven't selected the correct level to put that new folder at prior to, to creating this new folder, it asks you where to place it. And I want to go ahead and place it here on my, um, my top one there. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that as is and if I want to drill down I can drill down underneath my inbox um, I can go to my archive folder whatever I want to do so I'm gonna go ahead and hit OK because that's where I want it and now over here on the left hand side I've got all my different options and I also have a saved messages folder so um, within the saved messages I've got my inbox over here I can go back up here and let me dismiss this again I'm gonna set my reminder later on so I don't have to have this come up again um, Okay, now I'm back on my inbox and I've got different uh, messages from, from people here that I say I want to go ahead and, and file some of these away. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my save messages and I have uh, an email here entitled uh, Iowa Pages from Stacy Edwards. I can go ahead and go to my save messages over here. Um, I can right click and hit new folder and then it says create new folder and I want to go ahead and maybe I want to call it Iowa pages folder because I know I'm gonna have a lot of Iowa pages items down the road or I can call it Stacy Edwards so let's say I would just want to keep all of Stacy's messages in one spot so I'll just type in Stacy Edwards hit OK because by default all the other options should be fine and there underneath Stacy save messages is a Stacy Edwards folder so I can go ahead and um, either collapse or expand this this um, save messages folder with the plus or minus box and there's her folder if I go back to my inbox now um, I can find the Iowa pages message and go ahead and just drag and drop that over to her folder I can also right click on it and go to move to folder um, another option um, and there since the last folder I was in or created was this folder it's already by default that otherwise I can select um, if I want to move it to my deleted items or, or different items so if I right click and hit move items I can always um, move it that way or else dragging and dropping is probably the simplest way to do that so I'm gonna go ahead and just drag that message over and drop it in that folder and now it's out of my inbox into this folder and here's the folder for Stacy Edwards with the um, the message that she had sent so a uh, pretty simple way to do that 
and uh, I'm going to go ahead and move this back to my inbox now because I, I do want to put it somewhere else and that was kind of just an example. So um, if I want to I can go ahead and create subfolders for as many folders as I want and keep on going down. Um, within my current one I have uh, a bunch of different folders for all the staff members and uh, different emails that I've received. So I uh, try to keep track of all that stuff without deleting the ones that I want to keep and, and go about it that way. So really simple way to keep your inbox uh, managed that way and kind of have a um, a file folder to keep all of the information that you might want to keep. So um, another good option that you can can use to um, manage your inbox is to set up rules and alerts. So um, right now my, here's my inbox a little bit cluttered again and I can go up here to tools and I can go to rules and alerts. So if I click on rules and alerts it brings up the dialog box and you have two different tabs email rules and manage alerts. So I do have some some current um, rules set up already but let's say I don't have anything in there and I want to go new rule and the rules wizard, rules wizard pops up and I can go ahead and use this wizard to set up uh, how I want the rule to be to, to, to run and it gives me different options options I can move messages from someone to a folder move messages with specific words in the subject to a folder a lot of different options that I can use here to um, kind of stay more organized. Um, if I want to do it manually, I can just go down here to next and not really use the, the wizard. And then it gives me a bunch of different options here that I can can go through. But the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and um, use this default one, move messages from someone to a folder. And I can all, I should say I shouldn't just skip the, the wizard by going down to the next button. I'm going to start from a blank rule. So I can check messages when they arrive or check messages after sending. So um, just a different way to set up rules there. A lot of common things that people want to do are up here in the stay, stay organized heading or stay up to date. So um, kind of use the ones you want. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just go with a, a pretty common one, move messages from someone to a folder. So I've got that selected. I can go ahead and hit next. And it says, which conditions do you want to check? Select one condition. So from people or distribution list say uh, I just had that message from Stacy I want to move all of the messages that come in from her into that folder automatically so I'll select that box and um, down here it says step two edit the rule description apply this rule after the message arrives from people or distribution list so I'm going to go ahead and click here and now I'm going to go up here and search for her email and there it is uh, and I'm going to go ahead and just add it to the from. Since it's selected, I can go ahead and just click on from, and there it goes. And now that that's there, it says apply this rule after message arrives from Stacy Edwards. Move it to the specified folder. So I want to go ahead and move it to that new folder I created previously. So now it pops up, prompts me for a folder to put it into, and right here underneath my saved messages is that folder. So I can go ahead and hit OK once I select that. And it basically tells me apply this rule after the message arrives from uh, Stacy Edwards. Move it to the Stacy Edwards folder. Hit next, and we will go ahead here and ask for any exceptions. Maybe I want to have anything with high importance um, sent to my inbox instead. So this is where I set an exception to that rule if I'd like to. But right now I like it as it is. So I'm going to go ahead and hit hit next and it says finish rule setup. I can go ahead and type the name for the rule. I like the name, that's fine, because I know that's who it's coming from. Um, step two, I can set up the rule options. Um, I can go ahead and run it now on any messages in the inbox. Uh, so right down here is where that message is at. So we'll see if that actually works. We're gonna go ahead and run it now for any messages in the inbox. And this rule will also run if it's turned on uh, for any future messages. So as long as it's turned on, that should work. So now it says step three, review the rule. Everything looks good and I'm going to go ahead and hit finish. Um, if it says all accounts, that would be any messages that I have on other accounts set up with an Outlook. Typically, you're just gonna have one account set up through Exchange through the school, and that's what you're gonna have, so it really doesn't matter, but if you wanna check that box, you can. So we'll hit finish. There it says it's running the rule, and uh, the rule is now in this rules and alert box, and hit apply, okay, and there is no more message in here from Stacy. So I can go back here to the Save Messages folder and there's the messages. So kind of a good way to automate uh, putting messages into folders as they come in. Um, just one thing to remember is that you're going to have to look through those folders to find new messages if you'd like to read those. 
Um, if it's something that you typically receive like a mailing list or a newsletter that you like to read but you don't like to have it clutter your inbox, this is a good way to get it out of your inbox and put it somewhere else so you can read it at your own leisure. Um, but uh, another way to keep your inbox organized.